Hey guys, do you know what tomorrow is? It's my installation day. Installation day. <laughs> I am super excited guys because tomorrow is my installation day. I have been working hard since February to get my hair in the right condition um, to be healthy enough to get these sister locks. And according to my test locks that I got, my starter locks, where are they? There they go. I've got them in a um, twist or, tr or braid right now. Um, she was able to get them in with no issues, so my hair is healthy enough to get my sister locks. So I'm getting them installed tomorrow. So I wanted to show you guys today what I am packing in order to be ready for tomorrow's installation day. So the main things that you want to be concerned about are your comfort, your belly, and your entertainment. So let's start with comfort. It may seem like I'm packing a lot of things, but I'm not bringing everything in. So I'm going to tell you guys, first of all, what I'm bringing, um, going to leave in the car. The first thing that I'm taking and I'm going to leave in the car, um, only if it's necessary, is a step stool. So I didn't go out and purchase this. I already had this in my house. So don't think I just went out purchasing a step stool just for installation day, guys. Um, but I'm bringing this because when I had my consultation, she told me that there was another room that we'd be doing the install in, but I didn't actually see the room and I did not um, see the chair. So I don't know what the situation is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be like a stylish chair where it'll have a little bar or if it'll be something where I'm sitting up high and my feet are dangling and uncomfortable and blah, blah, blah. So just better safe than sorry. I'm going to bring a step stool in case I need it to be able to rest my feet on. Um, that's going to stay in the car because unless, if I don't need it, I won't bring it in. I don't want her to think I'm moving in with her with all this stuff I'm packing and bringing. So, uh, the other thing that I'm packing and leaving in the car will be my laptop. And the only reason I will bring that out is if I have to do like some emergency work for work. Um, beyond that, I don't think I'll be using it for like entertainment purposes or anything like that because I'm going to be bringing my Kindle for... And I'll have my cell phone with me, so if I need to be looking at something, some TV shows or Netflix, Amazon, listen to music, YouTube, whatever, I'll have the Kindle for that or my cell phone for that. Um, so those are the two things I'm going to leave in the car. Now let's talk about comfort. She actually recommended that I bring a travel pillow. So, um, ooh, y'all see my little travel pillow is all broke up on the inside. Well, it's not even mine. It's my husband's. He can't take care of stuff. Just kidding. Um, mine got completely destroyed and I left it with a family in um, Ghana. <laughs> so I have no travel pillow, so I'm using my husband's. So um, she recommended I bring this travel pillow in case my neck gets hurting from when she's doing a portion of it or something. So I'm bringing this. Um, I have a lower back issues sometimes, so I am going to be bringing a pillow to put behind my back in the chair. Um, which can also be if my butt starts hurting and going, you know, crazy. I can sit on it too. Whatever. I am, as far as clothes, I'm going to wear um, just a, probably a t-shirt or something like that. A sports bra and some um, leggings. And um, I'm going to drive there and some flip-flops or either some tennis shoes. But when I actually get to her house because I don't want to wear shoes in her house and I don't want to be barefoot... I'm going to be um, wearing some comfy house socks. I love house socks. I always wear them even around my house. I just hate to walk on a barefoot on a floor. I get it from my mom. She, you always have to wear socks in the house, so I do. Um, I am also get cold very easily, and I'm not sure she's gonna have her air condition on, um, but I'm bringing a travel blanket in case I do get cold, um, and a little sweater as well, a little cardigan whatever you want to call those little button-up things just so I can make sure that I keep warm um, when I did go for my consultation she had the windows open and a fan on and it just felt like love so um, hopefully we'll be doing that tomorrow and it'll be an amazing day and I won't need the sweaters and the, the blankets um, so I'll bring it just in case you know because she'll be working and you know if you're working like that you get hot so it's her house I have no right to complain so I'll just adjust myself accordingly. All right, Tylenol. I am bringing Tylenol in case it gets to hurting. When she put my starters in, it did not hurt. But you know, when you're constantly picking at your head, 
for like 12 hours <laughs> it might start to hurt so in the case that that does I have got myself some medicine some Tylenol um, so that takes care of comfort so now let's talk about entertainment girl let's talk about some entertainment um, I'm bringing my candle like I said earlier and I'll bring my cell phone um, so I can watch YouTube, Netflix, listen to podcasts, um, Amazon, Prime movies, whatever I want to watch. Oh, I got to catch up on Power. Mm. Yes, Power. I'm one episode behind. It just aired yesterday, but I wanted to save it for tomorrow. So I've been have to be off of Facebook because folks will ruin your Power experience. I had to put somebody on punishment. I put them on a 30-day block. Like, oh, you want to talk about Power before I had a chance to watch the episode? Uh -huh. Here's a 30 day block. Go sit in the corner and think about your actions. What have you done? <laughs> they probably don't even know nothing about it. You can handle that. So, um, for entertainment, I have some um, wireless earbuds that I have. I'm going to bring those. And these are pretty comfortable because a lot of the times um, headphones hurt my ears after so long and I, they start to hurt. So these are pretty comfortable, but in case the battery dies on these, I have also, um, picked up a little cheapy pair from the dollar store of wired headphones, old school headphones. Um, entertainment. I am also bringing some magazines that I have not gotten around to in like forever, but have you guys tried reading a magazine lately? Every time you read a sentence, they refer you back to go to our website, www.xyz, to finish this distance. It's like you're going back and forth between your phone and the magazine. Uh, neither here nor there. Sorry. I digress. <laughs> Damn. Um, so that is pretty much... Oh, and I'm, I have like a, a 10-foot cell phone cord that's um, very long. And I'm also bringing um, an extension cord, um, a multiple extension cord you know the big ones that have lots like six holes in there <laughs> what do you call those things charging ports i'm bringing one of those as well so that if her outlet is pretty far um i can plug multiple things up if needed like my cell phone and the kindle mainly and um i can also have it close to me so um i'm also going to bring a backup battery charger i don't think i'm going to need that but just in case i do I'm bringing a backup battery charger. I may leave that in the car as well, so she doesn't think I'm moving it. <laughs> um, food. Let's see. I ran out today to get some stuff because I am on keto, and I can't just have regular junk food like I really want. So um, I purchased some salads and little keto chips and that kind of stuff and fruit snacks that are, you know, all stuff that's keto approved, sugar-free, boring blah 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 so I won't be hangry because it happens I get hangry and uh, that is pretty much everything oh and some water I'm bringing water um, I don't really drink sodas or um, juice and stuff unless I put a little packet in there so water will be sufficient for me the main thing I did want to tell you guys though was I made sure when I was scheduling um, when I wanted to have my install done, I made sure I track my, um, my cycle cause I'm actually trying to conceive. So y'all pray for my womb. I know I'm like 99 years old, but it is what it is. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I was not going to be on my cycle during the installation because ill who wants to, to be on their cycle during like three 12 hour days in somebody else's house, blah, blah, blah. So I made sure that was done when I scheduled it. And um, the other thing I'll be bringing is that cash money, baby, because that's what she want. Um, beyond that, I don't think there's anything else that I think I'm going to need. I'm going to try to upload this video tonight. So if you guys see it and see I'm missing something, like, hey, girl, do this, because I got to be at her house tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. And I live at least an hour away. So I've got a very early morning to get on the road. And um, if y'all can think of anything else that maybe can help somebody else or maybe help me on day two or day three, leave a comment below. What did you bring to your install or what have you thought about bringing if you haven't got yours installed yet? Um, so let's start a conversation below so all of us newbies to the world of Sister Lock will know um, what to bring. 
So leave your comments below, guys, and thank you for watching. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, uh, 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 thumbs up, uh, 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 and subscribe. Love you guys.